Hi, welcome to the course of automation testing using Selenium and Python. In this course, we're going to learn programming of Python directly by doing it. There are a lot of Python courses which are available out there, but Python being it having a very, very steep learning curve, often students get overwhelmed. And this course is entirely going to be different where we're going to focus only on Python and Selenium. It's actually packed with very good amount of real life challenges where you learn to solve and some of this will solve together. In summary, this specific course is designed for all skill levels, which means that though you're a good programmer, though you're an awesome programmer, or though you have no programming background, you will definitely be successful in this course. Python is an open source, open source language. Now, when we talk about Python, it's actually very powerful. The gen, it's a general purpose programming language which has been developed by Kaido Van Rassen. The language features includes the procedure-oriented, object-oriented, scripting language, and modular programming languages. By the wide range of Python use cases could be one is in terms of the GUI or the web application development, the data analytics, task automations, test case implementations, the scientific application development, the network application development, the gaming app, or the animation application development. But we, in our specific course, will be focusing majorly only on the test case implementations and the various kinds of task automations. Why we have chosen Python? Because it's very simple and easy to learn and because of its the code portability, which means that you will be able to run a Python code that is, that is actually written out in Windows machine and you comfortably can just copy paste that file into any other operating system and then straight away run it. There's no dependency on any kind of platform. It's, you are going to write something in Python code and it stays on. It's actually free and then open source. It's a pure high level language, which means that you will not be need to focus around any sort of memory management or uh, how much memory that is actually used by the program. All of these comes under the low level details. Anybody can use Python software without purchasing any, uh, without purchasing license agreement of Python. Anybody can read a Python source code and they can do the necessary modifications just on the fly. The code is definitely going to be redistributable. Now, when we're coming to the Selenium related aspects, now Selenium is also an open source tool, which is primarily focusing upon most of the web driver technology uh, and the various kinds of actions that could be performed on a browser. So many companies, they try to prefer around uh, this specific duo of Python and Selenium in order to cut down the specific project maintenance cost which definitely increased a demand for the overall Selenium testers. The overall course, you'll be trying to implement all the Selenium using Python in the most easiest way, which can later be integrated to various platforms and tools across browsers or operating systems are using a Selenium grid by which you'll be able to run a single test case across devices at one single given point of time. Now, what the prerequisites of the course, that's nothing. There's no prior knowledge that is actually required. It's only a passion that is needed just to be successful. The course objectives are going to be pretty simple. It's very clear that once after you complete the course, you should be able to write a fluently, uh, a, you should be very, very fluent in to write uh, Selenium scripts with all the necessary or the essential exception handlings by automating all possible actions which can be performed on a browser and considering the intermediate actions that could be needed for a Windows based application. Most of uh, the daily tasks that we are trying to run through can definitely be automated and you can definitely look forward to it. We'll be able to validate around the page content that is using Selenium and then you should be able to create something reusable method or some reusable tests across all of your projects that you have been working upon. Uh, working upon. 
Now, uh, there's something which is called as data-driven, keyword-driven, and then the hybrid frameworks, which the people will be focusing upon, and we are definitely going to cover those of them into our course. Now, let's look at a very sample program. Now, what is this actually program talking about, and how is it actually going to be a little different from other languages? Now, let's consider a simple use case that I wanted to navigate to the python.org website. As soon as I navigate into it, I wanted to ensure that uh, the Python website, I, I have navigated to the right website or the website has loaded up. So, I will just have a look at the title, which says as Python. Welcome to python.org. And then there is something else. Yes, there's a search box where I'll try to make a search called as PyCon. So PyCon is nothing but it's a conference that usually happens for all the Python developers uh, that out there. Uh, it happens by country. Yes, there are a good amount of search results that is actually coming up. So in order to automate this specific scenario, how, how do you think it can be automated? It's quite simple. The code, we are going to just install Selenium first. So I have uh, Python already installed here and then I'll be just running through a simple code line called as pip install selenium. So which will directly contact the Python package index and then it'll try to collect and then it will try to set up the necessary selenium on my machine. Cool. So it gave me a message saying that it's actually successfully installed selenium. That's fantastic. Now, uh, the editor that you see on the screen is sublime text, which uh, we can either use a sublime text or a PyCharm community edition, which is again free in order to code. Now, uh, it, it, there, is, there is a good amount of import statements that you could see. We'll talk about it a little later, but for now, we're just using out the web driver technology of, from Selenium, and then we're going to use something called as keys, which is actually there. So in the first line, we shall be using out, uh, let's use Chrome. Let's use Chrome and then I have declared out a driver and then I'm saying that I wanted to navigate to a python.org website and then I first wanted to assert the presence of Python in the driver title. So if that is actually present, then I'll be getting through this. Uh, then I'm, I'm actually trying to search for the value which is actually present here for the search element which uh, I've tried to write it as element by name Q. And then just to be on a safe side, I'm trying to clear out all the necessary elements. And then I'm trying to send out the word called as PyCon. And then using my keyboard, I'm trying to send out a return key. That's not, nothing but my enter. So I would need to ensure that the base case is going to be very simple. There are quite good number of results that it has actually come through when we have tried to type in PyCon and then try to hit a search button. We need to ensure that there should be some result that, would, that should be coming out there. That's on a positive note. The negative note uh, or the negative test case is that I should not be getting a message saying that there should not be uh, any message that's going to render out saying no results found. So uh, I've actually asserted straight away into this page source and then I try to write it. And then that's it. Now that's a simple program on Python. Now let's try to run this. Uh, let me type Python and then a demo file.py and then hit enter. Now this should automatically launch a browser. It launched and then it's going to navigate through uh, the python.org. Now it has typed in PyCon and then hit enter. Now, oh, the assertion was quite fast, but yes. One check which we have actually placed was page title had the word Python. Yes, it means that the Python uh, that text was actually present. And then there was no results that uh, uh, was not displayed, which is actually good. And it's actually a good start in terms of automating things. Now, let's have a clear check. The code which is actually present here, I've actually uh, put up a little more spaces in between but overall, it's going to be pretty or plain English that you're trying to write in. 
and it's just few lines of code it's just 10 to 11 lines of code which are actually done with the, all the necessary checks this can even be more crunched or even can be optimized even further and can be done it's simple isn't it now let's have a look at uh, what we're going to cover it through at the course so one is like we will be covering around the programming basics we'll be trying to install the python uh, we'll be uh, trying to install the ide which is nothing but the integrated development environment that's like uh, why they will be using out a pycham community edition or a sublime text as displayed just now so there are multiple ways of how we try to deal with the interpreter one is in using an interactive mode the other one is using a batch mode so there are few uh, so python runs more in terms of the indentation it means that uh, there were no braces which are actually present out in the code it's pretty plain and simple so the indentation concepts and all of that and then we'll be try trying to write up a first python program we'll be trying to see what are the kinds of data types and variables that are there uh, and then what are the kinds of operations that could be performed how to take inputs from the user while on the program uh, which is actually there on the run uh, these are all the core programming concepts which are actually there so in terms of the loops the list tuples dictionaries and the sets and python list comprehensions what are the standard functions which are actually there how to deal with the exception handling in the code and how do we actually connect to uh, various kinds of file operations or the DB operations and then we'll also move on to the selenium related concept so why or who developed selenium what are the various kinds of selenium concepts what are the specific modules which are present in selenium whether it's going to be ide or web driver how do you try to launch a test in a firefox internet explorer chrome safari and then what are the kinds of uh, elements which are actually present and then you'll be able to see with the automating of the keyboard and the mouse events that are actually present and uh, like you could you could be dealing with all possible actions that could you that you will be able to do it on a browser now let's try to do a quick check instead of chrome i try to give something called as firefox and then i try to rerun this and then whatever the test that has been written out in chrome if i have to repeat it manually on every uh, instance or 10 times on a simple browser I could be uh, getting bored, but using this code, I would not. I would just run through a simple command. Now, the code has actually run through the Firefox, and then it got displayed, and then the test got executed, which is fantastic. Now, these are the various kinds of uh, the concepts that we try to cover up uh, in terms of automating the keyboard and then the mouse events in order to handle the multiple windows how do we handle out alerts? How do we handle out the frames? How do we customize or use the XPath or the CSS selectors? How do we do with the browser synchronization with the program? And then what are the various kinds of testing frameworks that are currently available? And then we'll also use our own, uh, because Selenium or majorly focuses upon using out a simple stack of all possible browser related actions only. So, we will be focusing a little more than selenium let's be using auto id and python uh, which is actually a python package and then we'll also be using out something called as auto id uh, so the, there are two different uh, concepts here one is auto id which is a third party application which can definitely be integrated into our python selenium scripts where we'll be able to handle out all the windows based uh, actions and then or we will be able to use Python Auto, so which is actually an inbuilt Python package itself, where we'll be able to perform all the necessary Windows-based actions which are there on top of it. The next one is going to be a Selenium grid uh, and the kit, the various kinds of custom frameworks that are going to be, uh, there is one custom framework which we'll be trying to give you uh, where you'll be able to integrate or you'll be able to generate with the reports and there is a good method that have been automatically done through. So we'll do share it across uh, with you at, by the end of this session. You'll be receiving out the updated handouts. Please uh, reach out to us for any kind of inquiries. Thank you so much.